The Biblical David Arabic, Dod translate. Dawud or Arabic, Dawud translate. Dawud, who was, according to the Hebrew Bible, the second king of the United Kingdom of Israel and Judah, reigning c. 1010–970 BCE, is also venerated in Islam as a prophet and messenger of God, and as a righteous, divinely anointed monarch of the ancient United Kingdom of Israel, which itself is revered in Islam. Additionally, Muslims also honor David for having received the divine revelation of the Psalms. Mentioned 16 times in the Quran, David appears in the Islamic scripture as a link in the chain of prophets who preceded Muhammad. Although he is not usually considered one of the law-giving prophets, Ulu al -Azm. he is far from a marginal figure in Islamic thought. In later Islamic traditions, he is praised for his rigor in prayer and fasting. He is also presented as the prototypical just ruler and as a symbol of God's authority on earth, having been at once a king and a prophet. David is particularly important to the religious architecture of Islamic Jerusalem. Name The Quranic Arabic form of David is Dawud or Dawud, differing from Koine Greek Dawid and Syriac David which follow Hebrew David. These forms appear in the Quran 16 times. Narrative in the Quran David's narrative in the Quran, in many respects, parallels that given in the Bible. Although he is never explicitly named a prophet or a messenger David is included in lists of those who received revelation or guidance from God. In both lists his name appears next to that of his son Solomon. Elsewhere, the Quran explains that God gave to both of them the gifts of sound judgment, Hukum, 21 and knowledge, Ilm, 21 27-15. Yet the Quran also ascribes to David merits that distinguish him from Solomon. David killed Goliath 2 and received a divine revelation named the Psalms, 4-153, 1755, 21-105 uses the definite form al-Zabur, presumably a reference to the Psalms or the Psalter. The term Zabur is perhaps related to Hebrew Mizmor or Syriac Masmura. Psalm. The mountains and the birds praised God along with David 21 in 34–10 God commands them to do so, cf. Psalm 148 verses 7–10. God made David a «vicegerent» Khalifa, 38–26, a title that the Quran otherwise gives only to Adam This title suggests that, to the Quran, David was something more than a messenger, he was a divinely guided leader who established God's rule on earth. This role is also suggested by 2 to 251. God gave him authority, mulk, and wisdom, hikmah, and taught him what he willed. If God did not drive back some people by others, the earth would become corrupt. Among the things taught to David was the ability to make armor, 21 to 80, 34 to 10 minus 11, a suggestion that David's military exploits were the act of God. It is also important that the Quranic reference to David's wisdom was sometimes explained by the classical exegetes as the gift of prophecy. The Quran also connects David and Jesus, by insisting that both cursed those Israelites who did not believe 5 Moreover, according to the Quran, David was given the ability to distinguish between truth and falsehood when dispensing justice Furthermore, there is the allusion to a test David was put through, wherein he prayed and repented and God forgave him Surat Sad the 38th chapter of the Quran is also called the Surah of David. Exegetes explain that since David prostrated when asking God to forgive him, Muhammad was ordered to imitate him and to perform a prostration when reading this chapter. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Religious significance. David is one of the few Islamic prophets who received kingship as well. While other prophets preached during the reign of kings, David, in his time, was the king. Thus, he received an extremely large task, of making sure that the people of Israel were not only held in check spiritually but that the country itself remained strong as well. His place as both leader and prophet is revered by all Muslims as one of extremely high rank. The figure of David, together with that of his prophetic son, Solomon, are iconic of people who ruled justly over their land. 
God frequently mentions David's high rank as a prophet and messenger in the Quran. He is often mentioned alongside other prophets to emphasize how great he was. For example, God says, And we gave him Isaac and Jacob and guided them, as we had guided Noah before them, and of his descendants, David and Solomon and Job and Joseph and Moses and Aaron. Thus we reward those who are upright and do good. When the Caliph Umar visited Jerusalem, the patriarch Sophronius accompanied him on the Temple Mount, while he searched for the Mirab David's prayer niche, to perform a prayer. Later commentators identified this site with the Tower of David. In a hadith, the prayer and fasting of David is mentioned to be dear to God. Narrated Abdullah bin Amr bin Al as, the Apostle of Allah told me, "...the most beloved prayer to Allah is that of David and the most beloved fasts to Allah are those of David. He used to sleep for half of the night and then pray for one-third of the night and again sleep for its sixth part and used to fast on alternate days." The Book of David The Zabur is the holy book attributed to Prophet David by God, just as Prophet Musa Moses received the Torah, Torah Prophet Isa Jesus received the Injil Gospel, and Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad ibn Abd Allah ibn Abd al-Muttalib ibn Hashim received the Quran. In the current Hebrew Bible, the Zabur is known as the Psalms. However, like other scriptures of the past, the Psalms are believed to have been corrupted over time, with some of the original message now gone. Nonetheless, Muslims are told to treat the present Psalms with immense respect because, in their original form, they too were an inspired book of God. The Quran states, Your Lord knows whoever is in the heavens and the earth. We exalted some of the prophets over the others, and to David we gave the book of Psalms. The term Zabur is the Arabic equivalent of the Hebrew Zimra, meaning, Song, music. It, along with Zamir, song, and Mizmor, psalm, is a derivative of Zamar, meaning, sing, sing praise, make music. Thus, David is also usually attributed the gifts of music and song. Bibliography Primary Abdallah B. Al Mubarak, Kitab al Zuhd, ed. H. R. Al A. Zami, Beirut N. D. 161-4. Ahmad B. Hanbal, al Zuhd, Cairo 1987, 111-2, 114, 134. R. G. Kauri, Wahbb. Munabi, Codices Arabici Wiesbaden 1972, with bibliography. Id, les légendes prophétiques dans l'islam de pou la ier jusqu'à ee siècle de l'agir Codices Arabici Antiqui, Wiesbaden 1978, 157–74 Habat Allah b. Salama, al-Nasik wa el-Mansik in the margin of Wahidi, Azbab, Cairo 1316–1898–9, 262 Ibn Qadama al-Makdisi, Kitab al-Tawabin, ed. A.Q. Arn, Beirut 1974 Majlisi, Bahar al-Anwar, Beirut 1983, XIV, 1–64, LXXIV, 39–44 Mukadal, Tafsir, I, 423, E, 87–8, 639–43, E, 87–8, 298–9, 525–6 Sid ibn al-Jazi, Mirat, I, 472–92 Suyuti, Dur, v. 148–76 Tabari, Tafsir, v. 360–76 Tabarsi, Majma Secondary A. Geiger, Judaism and Islam, Madras 1898, 144–5 E. Margoliath, The Convicted in the Bible, Cleared from Guilt in the Talmud and Midrash Hebrew, London 1949, 60–7 F. A. Madab, Dawud, in Encyclopedia Iranica, v. 161–2 R. Perret, Dawud, in A. 2, E. 182 Y. Zakovich, David. From Shepherd to Messiah Hebrew, Jerusalem 1995 see especially Annex A by A. Shinan, 181 to 99. 
Topic. See also. Al Ard al Mubaraka Arabic. Al Ard al Mubarak. The land, the blessed. Biblical and Quranic narratives. Legends and the Quran. Kizas al Anbiya Arabic. Qss al Anbiya. Stories of the Prophets. References <references>